I'm scared for my children. I'm scared that um, that nobody's going to be there to support them if this execution goes through. Um, I worry for them. After Mariah had been taken to the hospital, uh, the detective got there and he was asking me and Robert, you know, many questions about, you know, Mariah's fall. I was trying to cooperate and, you know, give him as much information as, you know, was needed from me. I didn't know that <laughs> being in the interrogation room and being asked the questions that I was going to be asked was going to change my entire life. I tried my best to tell them what I knew and telling them that uh, about Mariah's fall, but they didn't want to hear that. They kept trying to make me confess to hurting my daughter. And I refused to do that because I did not hurt my daughter. I felt very intimidated by these men. They were very uh, aggressive towards me. It finally got to the point to where I finally said, maybe if I just tell them what they want to hear, they'll leave me alone. And that's what I did. I basically told them, okay, I did it. But I didn't do anything. I did it. I feel that a lot of, you know, not only Latinas, and, but, you know, African Americans get looked down a lot. You know, they, I feel that they look at us as just, you know, ignorant people, especially me, because, you know, I didn't have an, I don't have a high school education. I know that a lot of that, you know, affected and affected the, the way the, the jurors looked at me. You know, if it would have been a different race, somebody with money, somebody with a high school diploma, a degree, I think the jurors would have seen, seen things a lot different.